Hi everyone and welcome to class. My name is Krista Winters and I am your instructor. So this video is just going to be me telling you a little bit about myself because I really think it's important that the students that I have get to know me as well as I get to know each of you. Um, so I have you doing a discussion post to help me get to know each of you and this is going to be my way of getting you to letting you know me so I am also a Carl Sandburg um, student in the past so I am one of their alumni now I started school in 2003 and as a non-traditional I actually did things a little backwards, which, you know, worked for me, but doesn't work for everybody. So I got married when I was 17 after dropping out of high school. So I, my high school dropout. I then had my first child at 18, my second child at 20, my third child at 21, and my fourth child at 26. So very um, close together for those first three, and then a little bit farther apart for my last child. Uh, my last child now is 18 years old. He just graduated, actually, through this corona um, virus period. He graduated. And my um, oldest child is 27 years old. Crazy. He's 27 years old. Wow. Um, he works, actually, at Blackhawk Community College. He's a math professor there. So we have, um, yeah, teaching in our blood, I guess. So that's kind of cool. So a little bit about me. I told you I'm a high school dropout. I got my GED when I was 20 years old. I decided to get my CNA certificate when I was 21 years old. And then I went on to be a CNA for many years. I... It wasn't until I was um, 20, I was probably about 24, 25 when I started thinking about going to college, but it wasn't until I was 26 years old um, that I really started thinking um, seriously about college. And when I was 27, I started college. I graduated from Carl Sandburg College when I was not when I was, in 2006, and I went right on to Western Illinois University where I did research on cockroaches. You'll find that out in my lectures, so I might as well just mention it now. It's kind of weird, unique, but that's who I am. And I was in um, the biology department there until 2010, when I graduated with my master's. So I got my bachelor's in 2008, my master's degree in 2010, and just recently we published my research. So that's kind of cool too. If you're really interested, you can look up the Journal of Parasitology and you can read it. I think it actually costs money though, so you don't have to, it's not a big deal. Um, but it is a cool research project and I do talk about it in my chapter one videos because we talk about scientific method. Um, so I did all this while raising my four children um, with my husband who worked away from home for multiple years. He worked in Chicago and I we lived in Monmouth. Um, we had a lot of downfalls during that my period of working so or of, of school which is important because my story is similar to a lot of other non-traditional students stories and sometimes people feel like they're not going to make it and I'm telling you you can make it I know biology is not the easiest I know that um, if you go into other upper level biology courses like AMP1, AMP2, or microbiology, they can be really hard, uh, but you can make it because I did it. I did it while having four children. I did it and my mom died during this period. My brother died during this period. I lost my home during this period. I had a really sucky life for a while <laughs> when I think about it. But, um, you know, I did it with the support of my, my family that was still alive, my children, and I had to miss a few things from my children's lives, but 
they are much happier today because now I have a good, um, solid, steady job, um, career that I love. I love what I do. And so I'm much happier. I also am able to um, do things that I couldn't do before. So I have the ability to help my daughter with her children, my grandkids. Um, I'm able to share information with my son since we're both colleagues or we're, we're colleagues at different colleges, but he's my son. He's also a colleague of mine because, you know, we both teach in academia. So these are things that, you know, going to college is going to help you. You're going to be able to make it. You just have to put the effort in. You can do it though. If I can do it, and I am a high school dropout. My GPA was 1.9 when I dropped out of high school. And my biology score in high school, what I got, I had a D minus in my only biology class that I actually took. I hated biology. I thought I'd never, ever take another biology class. And I did in college, obviously, because I decided initially to go for nursing, and then I decided to change my life and go into biology. Um, so I did it. Even though I hated biology initially, I realized that part of that um, disgust of biology or the hatred was because I didn't get along with my instructor. Having an instructor that you get along with is going to go far in helping you learn the subject. So hopefully um, this video shows you who I am and will help you to maybe feel a little bit more at ease when you are taking the class. If you have questions, you can email me. You can come to my office hours. My office hours are always going to be on Thursdays, but I can have other hours. So if you can't make it on Thursday, if Tuesday morning is the only day that you can make it, or maybe it's a Wednesday or a Monday or even a Friday, or I've, meet, I've met people on Saturdays. If those are the only times you can make it, let me know. I will set up a time and we can meet. I always have my office hours for one hour a week um, specific to uh, for this course so that those who can make it can come to those. But I will always add additional hours for people. If you And so I want you to succeed. My goal is to make you succeed. Um, I hope that this wasn't an overload in who I am. Um, I am kind of a goofy person, but that's just me in a nutshell. Uh, and I really hope you enjoy this class. So watch this video because it'll give you an insight on who I am. I'm saying it at the end of the video, so you've already watched it. Um, but it also is going to hopefully inspire you to do great in the class. All right. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. Bye.